Just days away from ringing in the new year, still in the shadow of this deadly pandemic. Now the U.S. smashing the record for average daily COVID cases, now topping 277,000 new infections a day. That's higher than at any point during the pandemic. The previous record was 252,000 set back in January. And in Michigan, cases hitting a pandemic record with totals for Monday and Tuesday hitting more than 25,000, averaging more than 12,000 per day. Now, this fourth surge is sending Michigan hospitals down a familiar but difficult road. They don't have enough staff to handle the surge of patients. Beaumont Dearborn is one of four Michigan hospitals getting help from the Army right now. As of Monday, the hospital has 91 COVID patients. Nine of them are in the ICU. In bed, occupancy, occupancy is running at 85%. 7 Action News reporter Jen Schantz shows us what the day-to-day -day is like for civilians and military frontline workers there. Jen. Ali Keenan, it has been 27 days since the Department of Defense deployed a team of medical personnel here to Beaumont Dearborn. Right now, there's a team of between 20 and 23 staff members helping to staff this hospital. And behind these walls, nurses like Rena Issa are facing daily hurdles, both logistic and emotional. It's um, really depressing, <laughs> but we do our best. That's all we can do. Long days covered in PPE is all Rena Issa has really known since becoming a nurse just before the pandemic. In the midst of this fourth surge at Beaumont Dearborn, she's seen people, old and young, getting very sick. We have a lot of patients on the floor that are requiring a lot of oxygen, but it is definitely a lot of unvaccinated patients that are the sickest. Covering shifts without burning staff out has been an uphill battle for a while. Beaumont Dearborn is one of four hospitals in Michigan where the military has deployed teams of medical staff to help people like Lieutenant Colonel Teresa Nowak. Every day is different. Um, you don't necessarily know what you're walking into, but we do know that we have a very strong team. Early on in the pandemic, Army medical teams helped run TCF Center in Detroit as a field hospital for COVID patients. Since then, Nowak says the DOD has made some adjustments. They're just, they're smaller, so we can branch off into multiple locations at one time. They've been here at Beaumont Dearborn since December 3rd. Teams like this one, also at Covenant Healthcare in Saginaw, Spectrum Health in Grand Rapids. And starting today, December 30th, DOD personnel will start treating patients at Mercy Health in Muskegon. Longer deployments depend on a couple of things, like hospital need and state approval. Governor Whitmer just approved an additional 30 days for the team here at Beaumont Dearborn. Hello. Issa says for patients with longer hospital stays, like in the ICU, maintaining hope can be hard. We offer like Zoom and FaceTime for their families, but a lot of the time they don't want to. Because it's just too painful? Yeah, it's horrible. And not just on the patients and their families either, but on the people trying to save their lives. You don't get to leave it at work. You take it home. Um, sorry. You take it home with you. Last week, President Biden directed the DOD to prepare an additional 1,000 troops to help staff hospitals around the country in early 2022 as needed. With Omicron surging, dedicated frontline workers are preparing. But I think it's going to mean that when we say we don't have any beds, we don't have any beds. But of course, doctors and nurses will tell you if you need medical assistance, you should never delay getting it. Go to an emergency room, regardless of these staffing issues. There will be someone there to provide help for you. Now, I did reach out to the DOD uh, for confirmation as to how many, if any, of those 1,000 additional troops may be deployed here to Michigan. I'm still waiting on a response. As for that additional 30 days for the team currently here at Beaumont Dearborn, the governor has approved it. However, the hospital says they're still waiting on the final stamp of approval from the Army. If they get it, that team will be here through next month. Reporting live this morning, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.